<gasps> Hi friends, it's time to go on a Bible adventure. Shake your hands high in the sky if you want to go with me. Woohoo! <laughs> <gasps> Wee! Hi Emily. Hi Shine. What's the question that we're trying to find the answer to today? <laughs> it's a good one. How can I be a good example? Hmm. How can I be the kind of example our friends can copy? I know some picture passes that will help us find the answer. <gasps> First, let's put on our adventure bags. Now we can be picture pass guessers together. <laughs> The first picture pass shows where someone walked. Hmm. Friends, which one is it? My friends say it's the footprint. Let's put it in our adventure bag. The next picture pass can make your words really, really loud. Friends, what do you think it is? It's the microphone! <laughs> Put it in your adventure bags. Only one more left. The last picture pass lights up so you can see what to do. Friends, which one? The flashlight! <laughs> Friends, put that flashlight into your adventure bags. Friends, count with me. One, two, three. Yep, they're all here. Now let's zip our adventure bag together. <laughs> now, now it's, it's time, time to, to fly. fly. Whoa. Shine, I've been thinking about the question, how can I be a good example? Then let's learn about someone who was a good example in the Bible. <gasps> The Bible is God's book for you. You can trust. It's right and true. Dreams come true. That story's from the book of Genesis in the Bible. It's about Joseph. Let's watch it and see how Joseph was a good example that we can copy. <laughs> Joseph served Potiphar well. Potiphar's wife wanted Joseph to sin against God. Joseph refused, so she lied about him. Potiphar believed her, and Joseph was thrown into prison. In prison, Joseph met two of Pharaoh's servants. They each had dreams, and God showed Joseph their meaning. Joseph's explanations came true. The cupbearer was released, and the baker was hanged. Two years later, Pharaoh had two troubling dreams. The cupbearer remembered what Joseph had done for him and told Pharaoh. So Pharaoh sent for Joseph and told him his dreams. God showed Joseph the meaning of Pharaoh's dreams. For seven years a lot of food will grow, said Joseph. So store up food because seven years of famine will follow. Pharaoh was impressed by Joseph's wisdom. So he put Joseph in charge of storing up all the food. Apart from Pharaoh, no one in Egypt was more powerful than Joseph. Joseph's brothers went to Egypt to buy food. They bowed before Joseph, but did not recognize him. When he saw that they had changed, he told them who he was. The brothers were terrified. You meant to harm me, Joseph said, but God used that for good. Bring all of our family to Egypt. We will have plenty to eat. Was Joseph a good example or a bad one? Hot diggity doggies! Joseph was a good example! Even when things weren't fair, Joseph still made the right choices. Other people could copy Joseph because he was a good example. But is Joseph the best example? Hmm. I'll ask Guy the Bible Guy. He knows about Everyone in the Bible. See ya, Emily. See ya, Shine. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Emily.
Emily, looks like you might have a question for me. Hi, Guy. I do have a question. How can I be a good example? You can be a good example by following the best example. Best example? I just watched a story about Joseph. Is it him? Joseph is a great example, but someone else is the best example. Friends, who do you think the best example we can copy is? Jesus is the best example. Everything Jesus did was the right choice. So if I copy Jesus, then I'll be a good example for others to copy too? Now do you know the answer to the question? How can I be a good example? I can live like Jesus. You know what you're talking about. <laughs> Guy, how can I find out how to live like Jesus? You can read about Jesus in my favorite book, the Bible. Then you'll know how to follow in Jesus' footsteps. I have a picture pass about that. <laughs> Friends, which one shows you where someone has walked? It reminds us to follow Jesus' example. Does God tell us to be a good example in his Bible? Yes, he does. Friends, wiggle your ears if you're ready to learn the verse with me. I'm wiggling my ears. Are you wiggling yours? Super! Watch me. 1 Timothy 4.12 Set an example in what you say, and in how you live. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Let's say it again. Okay, repeat after me. 1 Timothy 4.12. 1 Timothy 4.12. Set an example. Set an example. In what you say. In what you say and in how you live. Whee! And in how you live. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Friends, you sounded so good. Dollars and donuts. I think I know it now. Let's say it together. First Timothy 4.12 Set an example in what you say and in how you live. Whee! <laughs> Good job, friends. If you say and do kind things, you're living like Jesus. You'll be a good example for other people to copy, too. We'll be following in his footsteps. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Guy. Bye. Bye, Emily. Bye, friends. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Hey, Blinky, watch this. <gasps> Zidia! That's a super -de duper wrong choice. Mr. Stone says crayons are only for paper. So? I don't see him anywhere. Besides, I'm the boss of myself. Blinky, what did you do? <laughs> Shine! It wasn't me! Zinnia colored on that rock! Uh, don't tell on me! Zinnia, it's wrong to color on Mr. Stone's rock collection! Aw, oh, come on! I'm just having fun! Friends, was Zinnia being a good example or a bad example? So I was a bad example. Whatever! What's the big deal? If Blinky copied you and drew on that rock, you'd both be sinning. Oh, I didn't think of that. How are we going to learn to be good examples? Think about the best example, Jesus. He always makes the right choices. Ugh, I already made a wrong choice. I'll never be a good example now. That's not true. You can pray and ask Jesus to forgive you. Yeah, because you pick Jesus as your leader and best friend. He can give you the power to make the right choices, Xenia. 
You're right. I'm gonna pray. God, please forgive me for my wrong choice. Show me how to be a good example. In Jesus' name, amen. Phew, I feel so much better. I can be a good example. Shine, you're a super -de duper good example for us. Yeah, thanks for showing us how to live like Jesus. <laughs> Wait, you're welcome. Now, let's clean up this mess. Friends, remember Joseph? He acted the way the Bible verse says. 1 Timothy 4, 12. Set an example in what you say and in how you live. Whee! <laughs> the footprint shows that Joseph followed God's way, just like Jesus. And Jesus was the best example. Let's live like Jesus! <gasps> I can hear Mr. Music! Let's go! Mr. Music, your whistling sounds great! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Emily. Your kind words show you're a good example. Kind words? Oh, I think I have a picture pass about words! Friends, which picture pass can make your words really, really loud? It's the microphone! <laughs> I use a microphone so that people can hear my songs better. Hey, we could use the microphone to say some kind words. <laughs> Friends, hold your microphone to say kind words with us. I'm holding mine. Are you holding yours? Repeat after me. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Can I help you? You're welcome. <laughs> Great. You know, those kind words remind me of a song. <gasps> Friends, clap your hands together if you'd like to sing it with me. I'm clapping my hands. Are you clapping yours? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna teach you the part that we sing together first. Okay. It goes like this. I say please and thank you, Jesus loves you. Can I help you? You're welcome. <laughs> I say please and thank you, Jesus loves you. Can I help you? You're welcome. <gasps> Wasn't that fun? Yeah, I love it. Now sing it along with me, okay? Friends, sing into your microphones. I say please and thank you, Jesus loves you. Can I help you? You're welcome. I say please and thank you, Jesus loves you. Can I help you? You're welcome. That was great. Now let's sing the whole song. For this part, repeat after me. I can live. I can live. Like Jesus. Like Jesus. For everyone. For everyone. That I meet. That I meet. I can set. I can set. An example. An example. In what I say. In what I say. And do. And do. Here we go. I say please and thank you. Jesus loves you. Can I help you? You're welcome. I say please and thank you. Jesus loves you. Can I help you? You're welcome. I can live. I can live. 
Like Jesus. Like Jesus. For everyone. For everyone. That I meet. That I meet. I can set. I can set. An example. An example. In what I say. In what I say. And do. And do. I say please and thank you. Jesus loves you. Can I help you? You're welcome. I say please and thank you. Jesus loves you. Can I help you? You're welcome. Do 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 That was great. Now stand to your feet to worship God with singing, music, and dancing. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord.
Emily, did you find the answer to the question, how can I be a good example? Yep, answer with me, friends. I can live like Jesus. <laughs> Wee! Jesus is the best example. Whoa, whistling woodchucks. These picture passes want out of my bag. <gasps> Friends, say them with me. A footprint, a microphone, and a flashlight. What did you learn about the footprint? The footprint reminds us to follow in Jesus' footsteps. That means we can make the right choice like he did. We can do things his way. What about the microphone? The microphone reminds us to say kind words to others so others can copy our words and live like Jesus. But we still don't know what the flashlight means. Hmm, a flashlight lights up the room so you can see what to do. Well, what does that have to do with being a good example? When your friends don't know what to do, it's like they're in the dark and can't see what's right. Oh, that's when they need a good example like you shine. You shine bright for all your friends. You always show them what's right. Thanks, Emily. I love living like Jesus because God asks us to in his Bible. That's right. 1 Timothy 4.12 Set an example in what you say and in how you live. Whee! <laughs> okay, friends. Bow your heads and close your eyes. We're going to talk to God together. Dear God, please help us to live like Jesus and be a good example. We want to show others how to live like you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. <gasps> Roaring race cars! It's time to go. We'll see you next time for another Bible adventure. Bye-bye, friends.